Hey, hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Uh, this is Srinivas Pujari. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Power BI data flows. What is Power BI data flows? And also, so many questions. I'm going to clear about the so many questions about the data flow. Like what is the data flow in a Power BI and where it will store the data? And do we require, uh, like, so what kind of licenses we required? And also, do we require a gateway when we use the data flow? And which scenario will go for the data flow? So we are going to clear about all these uh, questions in this video. Okay, so if you know, uh, watch the first time my channel, guys, okay, please subscribe my channel and uh, hit the like button to encourage me. Okay, so let's get started the video. So Power BI data flow. Power BI data flow is a ETL a tool in Power BI service. Like how uh, Power BI desktop will have the Power Query the same way. So it's a Power Query in Power BI service. Okay, it's a Power Query in Power BI service. It's collect the data like this. Okay, it's collect the data from uh, different uh, sources. Okay, different sources. And then it will store the data in the Azure um, Azure data lake uh, storage in a CSV files, okay? Or else it will store in the, uh, you know, dataverse, okay? So it can take the, you know, uh, SQL Server, Excel, or like almost whatever the Power BI desktop will connect the sources, the same sources it can connect and then it create the data flow and then it will store the data in these uh, areas, okay? So where it will store means like uh, so we uh, so just now we discussed okay it will store in the dataverse and then um, uh, azure uh, data lake right so it will store as a csv files and so after storing the data we can use that uh, data flows in the power bi service power apps power automate power so all you uh, know uh, power platforms can use this data flows okay not only in power bi we can use in a, all you know power platforms we can use the data flows and then which license do we require to create a data flow? So when you use a pro license, okay, these are the futures guys, okay, you schedule refresh per day, eight times, and then this is for the 48 times, and then storage is like the pro, uh, pro license is 10 GB. And then if it is a premium 10 GB, uh, 10, uh, sorry, 100 terabytes, and then we can uh, run a data flows uh, authoring Power Query online. Yes, we have that, even we have that one as well. Okay, so, data flow management within the power bi you know so yes we have both the and then uh, data flow connections okay we have a different we can connect with the power bi desktop also when you use a pro license and premium license so integration with the power bi and then new connectors everything is available for the pro license and premium license the thing is which is not available means okay uh, linked entities is not available in the pro license and data flow can connect to the another data flow. Within the data flow, you can connect another data flow that is not available. And then incremental refresh is not available. And then uh, computed entities, uh, like uh, the transformation via M code is not available in the pro license. And also the premium capacity based like uh, execution of the transformations, okay, running on the uh, premium capacity, it's not available in the pro license, okay? These are the limitations when you use the pro license, but both the licenses we can use both the licenses and then we can create a data flow okay so and do we require a gateway so yes uh, we require a gateway so we can connect on premises sources and then online sources okay two kind of sources we can connect okay when we connect the on premises data source oh, we should use a gateway okay gateway we can use a gateway so that we will you know uh, in the next video, I will create a uh, video on that. Okay, in which scenario we will go for the data flows? Okay, even in Power uh, Power BI Desktop also we have a Power Query. So how different it is from the um, um, Power BI Desktop for Power Query, and uh, so how the difference is uh, from that Power Query? Like so, when we use the uh, multiple tables, like suppose um, in a different Power BI reports, like, suppose date table is there okay date dimension used in the sales um, pbx file and then sales inventory file okay if you use date date table is common for all you know so um, all files okay so if you if you take a copy from here and then if you use this um, and if you use some other file okay there are three pbx files are there three date tables you have to use and then you have to maintain three codes okay three source codes 
differently. But if you change something in a, some uh, somewhere, you have, so you need to individually go and then update the code for the each date table, right? So to overcome that, to overcome that, we can create a you know a common tables, whatever the common tables, not only date table and even product table or some other tables. So whatever the common tables are there, we can create as a you know a data flow. Uh, that we can so wherever the so uh, which pbx files are using the common tables okay those common tables we can take into you know um, data we can create as a data flow and then the data flow we can use in a different um, pbx files okay we can use in a different pbx file so that if you it's a center of you know um, if you change something here so it will be affected to the all uh, pbx file at a time so instead of going with the you know, individual uh, file uh, changing, so if you use the data flow, it can be affected to the all uh, you know, PBX file at a time. So that is the you know, common repository, you can say, okay. So date dimension transformation executed only once, then the used multiple times, okay. So just one time it will be executed. And also one more different, one more advantage is that, so um, different data sources with the different schedules, like, uh, so if you have a date dimension every uh, you know, uh, refresh every day and the sales table refresh every four hours and product mapping refresh every week. So you have a different schedules. Okay, you suppose if you want to refresh in a different schedules, you can go with the like, uh, so independently you can refresh. So based on um, the schedules. Okay, so that is our also one, of, one more advantage we can uh, use the uh, data flow base, okay. These are the main things. Uh, hope you, uh, you know, understand about something about the data flow where we can create and all. So we can you know, create a, even Miru, oh, sorry, uh, you can even you can create a, a data flow with the normal workspace or premium workspace. So you can go with the data flow. Um, sorry. So in the Power BI service, so tomorrow we'll create that. So how to create and all tomorrow I will explain. So like just I'm showing the sample. So there, so when you go to the workspace, uh, go to the workspace, there is a right side corner. There is, sorry guys. Here is a new uh, thing is there. So there you will go with the data flow. You can click on the data flow. So these are the things we have. So define new table, linked uh, and import, and then attach the common data model. So you can go with that. And then for now, I'm going with this one. Okay, add the model. So these are the sources we can use. Okay, Excel, CSV file, and then SQL Server, Teradata, Oracle, everything we can use, okay? So if you want to go with the you know, Excel, so if you want to upload, just you can go and then browse it, and then you can upload from the desktop, okay? So we required a gateway, so I don't have a gateway, so that is the reason I cannot able to create now. So tomorrow we will install the gateway. So how to install the gateway and all, we'll see. And then we can uh, create a data flow base. Okay. So next two videos. Okay. We'll have a next two videos with the SQL and with the uh, Excel. We will create a data flows. And then the data flows we will use in the Power BI uh, desktop. Okay. Hope you like the video, guys. Okay. Please uh, share and subscribe my channel if you watch the first time, guys. Okay. Thank you.